Do you ever wonder if your cell phone is hacked or even spying on you? You can't put your finger on it, but something just seems off with your phone. Maybe your cell phone is behaving differently and crashing a lot. Or you recently had a conversation about shoes. Then hours later, shoe ads suddenly pop up on your phone. You could be receiving strange error messages or requests for sensitive information. How would you know if a hacker is tapped into your phone? The unfortunate answer is that it is very difficult for the average person to identify spyware on their phone. You typically need sophisticated cybersecurity forensics tools and technical knowledge to definitively confirm that your phone is hacked. But there are a few telltale signs that everyday people can look for that may indicate their phone is compromised. Poor battery usage. Is your battery draining much more quickly than it should, especially on a new phone? Is the battery draining in six hours instead of 12 hours as rated by the vendor? Is a specific app using an exorbitant amount of battery power? Do keep in mind, when you are in an area with weak cell phone coverage, your phone must work harder to connect to the network. Under such conditions, your phone may drain more quickly. Additionally, streaming video, especially high-definition video, is energy-intensive and drains battery power. Review your data usage. Log into your online mobile account and review your last 12 months of data usage. Some vendors report this information on your monthly phone bill. Determine if there has been a sudden spike in your data usage. Has your data usage increased significantly without explanation or a change in your streaming behavior, download behavior, or other phone usage? Review installed apps. Do you have any mysterious apps installed on your mobile phone that you do not recall downloading? Are there apps taking up space on your phone that you don't use? Mobile app permissions. Look at the permission settings for mobile apps that you deem higher risk. Good examples of higher risk apps include unpopular gaming apps or utility apps from unknown developers. Do any of the apps require permissions that don't make sense, like access to your contacts, camera, or microphone? Suspicious app behavior. Determine if you are receiving strange pop-ups or notifications on your mobile device. Do any of your apps automatically launch or start on their own or request credentials for unrelated accounts? Do your active use indicator lights for your camera or microphone turn on at unusual times? Poor phone performance. Is your phone slower than usual? Does your phone ever freeze up sporadically? Also, has your phone started to crash more frequently or seem to use up more processing power? Random multi-factor authentication request. Have you recently received multi-factor authentication codes that you did not request? This could be a sign that someone knows your password and is attempting to authenticate into your iPhone, Google, or Microsoft account. You can always log into your mobile device account and review recent logins. Apple, Google, and Microsoft all record and track login information, which you can access online. Verify if anyone has attempted to log into your account from an unknown computer. Phone temperature. Is your phone getting unusually hot, even when you are not holding it or charging it? A hot phone can be an indicator that you have a rogue process running in the background, straining your phone of its energy and processing resources. So what should you do if you suspect that your device is compromised? First, install updates. Immediately update your operating system if you have not installed recent updates. Second, delete downloaded files. Delete recent downloads and cache data from your mobile phone. If you don't know how to do this, search online for instructions for deleting cache on your mobile device. Third, uninstall apps. Remove all unnecessary apps from your mobile device. Also, uninstall higher risk apps. And fourth, use virus protection. Install antivirus software on your mobile device, then run a scan for malware. Some browsers support a feature called privacy preserving ad measurement. 
which is a technology that allows advertisers to measure the effectiveness of their ads that get displayed on websites. While this technology has been designed to respect privacy and anonymize information, PPAM can collect information and sometimes stores information on your device. This feature allows websites to target you with specific ads based on your previous clicks or searches on websites. To disable privacy-preserving ad measurement on your iPhone, go to Settings, then Apps, then Safari, then Advanced, and turn off privacy-preserving ad measurement. To disable privacy-preserving ad measurement on Android, Go to your device settings and navigate to Privacy or Privacy and Security, then select Ads, followed by Add Privacy, and finally, toggle Add Measurement to Off. If you are running Firefox on your mobile phone or computer, go to the Firefox settings, then Privacy and Security, then Website Advertising Preferences, and uncheck the box labeled Allow Websites to Perform Privacy-Preserving Ad Measurement. If all else fails and your mobile phone continues to perform poorly or indicate compromise, back up your contacts, back up your important files and photos, and then perform a complete factory reset. A factory reset will wipe all files and data from your phone. As such, a factory reset must be treated as a last resort. A complete factory reset is essentially a nuclear option and will wipe out everything on your mobile device. Learn how to keep your devices safe at computersafetyeveryday.com. Also learn more about basic cybersecurity by watching these videos.